Now, your flash briefing from Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Nicole Nalepa. Nationwide protests continue in the wake of George Floyd's death. Protests across the state have remained largely peaceful, though. Yesterday in Southington, the deputy police chief marched with the crowd. In Hartford, state police troopers joined demonstrators on 84. Protesters say they want to make their message very clear. We hear sorry too much. To be sorry and to really mean it, you have to do something different. We asked our state leadership if the National Guard will be deployed in our state, and we're told that's not the plan. And Hartford Police just released a statement. Chief Jason Thody said in part, quote, as a city and as a law enforcement agency, we share in the disgust, anger, and sadness that people all over the world are feeling. Incidents such as the death of George Floyd by the hands of a police officer erode the trust and relationships that we as a police department work at strengthening each and every day, end of quote. It has been more than a year since Jennifer Dulos was last seen, and now there's a new ruling in the civil case against her estranged husband, Fotis Dulos. A judge is now saying Dulos' estate and his home construction company must pay $1.9 million to his mother-in-law to settle unpaid loans. He had argued the loans were forgiven, but the judge said Dulos fabricated checks that he presented as evidence. Dulos took his own life after being charged in Jennifer's murder. He denied any role in her disappearance. For this afternoon, we'll see a chance for some scattered showers. Otherwise, temperatures top out between 70 and 75. Tomorrow, uh, we're looking for a mix of sun and clouds. Temps get close to 80, and by late in the day, there's going to be a chance for some isolated showers, possibly a thunderstorm, especially across southwestern Connecticut. The greatest risk for severe weather tomorrow will be well to the southwest of Connecticut. On our seven-day forecast, Thursday is going to feature a lot of sunshine. It's going to be warm with highs in the lower 80s, even warmer on Friday with perhaps a passing shower. That also goes for Saturday. Then we'll trend a little bit cooler and less humid over the second half of the weekend. Mid-70s, both inland and along the shoreline over the second half of the weekend. That's the very latest early warning seven-day forecast.